Coach uh, Tada, thank you very much for your time. Uh, you finished uh, the clinic that you're conducting here today. Uh, can you briefly tell, it, tell us about it? What, is, what was it about and what were you hoping to achieve? Um, thank you, good afternoon. Um, the clinic uh, was successful today. And uh, it's the first time here in uh, uh, Rosina Silibani Sport Ground. We did it the other time there in Lodia um, during the COVID-19. Um, so the attendance was too poor. But today we got um, the attendance was too uh, many. And uh, we got about 30 goalkeepers today for the workshop. Okay. Uh, the clinic, what did it focus on? Uh, what techniques were you able to teach the young boys and girls today? Uh, we're focusing on the basic. Um, focusing on scooping, uh, um, diving, uh, handling, and uh, even cross balls. That was focused today. Uh, when you go around uh, conducting these clinics, what do you find to be a challenge with young goalkeepers? What do they struggle with? Um, they are struggling with the basic, um, the handling and um, the scooping. All those things they were struggling um, with those the area, and um, even the communication part. They are struggling, so that's why we are coming in to give them the basic, or uh, let, let them know the basic, so that uh, as they're growing up, they will be coming strong, strong into the games with all those aspects. Uh, under normal conditions of development, at what age do you expect a young goalkeeper to have mastered the basics and then go in on to add other advanced techniques? Um, at the age of um, 11. You can start with the age of 11 to know the basic. Yeah, before they are advancing other techniques. So they need to know from, from 8 to 13 years old. Oh, they must know all those basic. So now we, we, we know that in, in most grassroots teams, there are no goalkeeper coaches. Uh, you find that there's one coach who, who coaches all positions, who coaches the team, and little attention is paid to, to the goalkeepers. Uh, what do you think is the impact of that, and how do you think we can be able to address that so that these young boys get to grasp the basics at an early age? Yeah, that's true. Um, the most important is the uh, goalkeeper um, workshop, goalkeeping workshop. Um, I've been coaching here in South Africa, in Rosina Sibani, for eight years today. So they have not, they have, we, have ne we have never attended any goalkeeper workshop because uh, that is the most, um, I think, the uh, challenge. Because if they suffer, they can come into for goalkeeping courses. I think many goalkeepers, when the coaches, they will be interested to come and learn more, and then um, it will be better for the team. Because if they don't have the courses, so coaches, they will just everyone just want to go for. The in fee coaches, not the goalkeeper coaches. So we need um, coaching um, um, courses for goalkeeping. Uh, as a goalkeeper coach, uh, I'm sure you watch a lot of football, you watch goalkeepers. What do you think of the standard of goalkeeping in the PSL? Ah, oh, they are good. We've got good standard. We've got good goalkeepers in PSL. Yeah, in South Africa, when it comes to even distribution and to I think many goalkeepers they try to uh, the young ones they all want to be like him yeah because he's got the quality for that I think the goalkeeper is PSA that we've got good, um, quality goalkeeper even the one in super sport William in super sport he's a quality goalkeeper coach thank you very much for your time uh, we appreciate the work that you are doing here and we hope that in the future you get more support and be able to have more workshops in order to improve goalkeeping in the country. Thanks.